I also have death threats from a supporter of hers and he said he's going to kill me for her and she was all for it. Yeah, yeah, I'm all for it. Really? You know, this this makes me angry. I know we're having a laugh, but this makes me angry because he's actually making me out to... She, he's the one that's told Sean that he wants me dead. He would pay for yeah. someone to kill me. Yeah. And there he is saying this. So it's 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 hypocritical. Mind you, we're talking about shooting yeah. and killing people here. But why, why? Show me the proof. David, you have evidence of death threats from a supporter of mine that said... So this supporter... Hang on. The supporter of mine that sent you death threats has also said to you that he's going to kill you for me and he's told you that I'm all for it. So what kind of conversation did he have with this man? Because he's added all this extra information, but he would have had to listen to it from somewhere. So has the, has the does the threat say these things that, oh, she wants me to kill you and she's all up for it? And, and you know, did you have a conversation with this death threat or was it just a death threat? Show the death yeah. threat. Don't just talk about these things. Even if, Val, even if David actually did receive, let's just pretend that let's David's pretend not that just does. lying out his ass. Um, let's just pretend this is actually genuine. Just say, someone who watches your channel, who also watches David, sent him a death threat saying he was going to kill David for you. Um, that, in and of itself, I mean, it's ridiculous, but it's not actually anything to do with you what your followers or viewers do they don't work for you they're not you know you're not instructing them to do this um and you know him saying oh she was all for it i mean where's the proof of that seriously why, where is the proof of that if no i'm proof. going to kill him why is he why does he have to bait me why does he make videos for provoking me if I'm so damn dangerous, why isn't he scared? Why isn't he keeping quiet? Why isn't he afraid that he's going to get killed? The yeah. reality, the logical side of it, it doesn't make sense whatsoever. Can I just also add just quickly, Val, out of all the emails and texts that we've received from Erica, David talks about you in so many of them. Every single one. If she if she changes a subject, I mean, we're going to go into a lot more after this as well. There's a lot. These are the most important ones that I've found and what did them first. Um, but he does. She'll, he takes talk it back about, she'll be talking about the weather and next yep. minute he'll say, oh, by the way, I've just seen Val. Oh, I'm going to do this to Val and Val's done this. and Oh, Val's a hot mess. And I think I'm going to make sure that she suffers. And it's all. And I'm like, wow. He does it in the comment section. I've noticed in the comment section also of his channel, people <clears> be talking about me or talking about someone else. And he'll start off talking about me but then he morphs back into talking about you it's super weird yeah the man is obsessed sean was correct so she's sticking freaking out so bad right now she's going to eventually do something big and scary which is what he wants me to do the man's always talking about me wanting to commit suicide and he yeah. actually can i just say he actually made a video once where he said that narcissistic people will poke their victim excuse me with thoughts of suicide they will continue continue to say oh they want to commit suicide and he even was saying well you know the, the victim will say no i don't no i don't and they'll keep saying yes you do you want to commit suicide and they'll tell all the, per the victim's family that she wants to commit suicide and that's what they do the, the narcissist will keep saying to the victim you want to commit suicide and in the end they actually commit suicide now that was a couple of months back a year or whatever he made this video but all of a sudden now what's he doing val wants to commit suicide Oh, she wants to commit suicide. He's telling everybody I want to kill myself and kill. Wow. Yeah. He gives he himself away. He does give himself away. He really, really does. So is this the big thing then, the big scary thing that maybe he thinks I'm going to do or I'm going to go ballistic and I don't know what's the big and scary thing. Val has recently been served with cease and desist papers from Alan, the ar with, no. Alan with Armchair Detective. And sources <laughs> tell me He's also suing her. No, I'm not. Yeah. Sources. Sources. Bam. Another woman Sources. just had police talk to Val and threaten her to not harass another woman named Bam. Right. So this Bam situation is I actually called the police and the police came around to me. And then the police went round to, to Bam's to have a word with Bam to tell her to stop harassing me. 
Bum tried to do a report on me and they told her just to leave it. She can't do a report. She's got no leg to stand on. And they told her to basically shut up and stop wasting their time. Now, I know this because when I called the police back and asked them, have you been to BAMS? Because BAM was doing all this all over the channel, saying, oh, the police have come to me. We had a good laugh about Val and all this business. No, the police told her to stop wasting their time because there was no reason they were going to ever take me in and or, or do me for any kind of harassment because there was no proof of me doing it. So she's got that the wrong way around. I sent the police around to BAMS. BAM didn't send the police around to me. Let's get that out there. Thank you yeah so now our inspectors are investigating her harassment of me and i'm pretty sure kim wilson will also file a report a police report for harassment but kim wilson is one of the most worst kind of cyber bully slash predators that we yeah. have within our community a yeah. fake like fake and phone like i've just never you know and i've defended I've myself against her she is not my victim in fact, Kim Wilson will never be anyone's victim. No, God. Kim no. Wilson makes victims. She doesn't be one. She yeah. might act like one oh, and she pretend does. she is, as yeah. they do, but she's not yeah. a victim. So um, so just quickly, though, your videos on Kim Wilson were years ago, right? And so mm -hmm. what is she filing a police report for harassment? It's just bizarre. That, it's, that, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's and bizarre. Also, of... Sorry, Sorry, sweetie. D um, David's sort of mingling with very strange people. You know, he's got mm. Bam, who's a psychopath, and mm. who has pushed someone to suicide. And there's David. He's a you know advocate for suicide and bullying. And bragged and he, about it on YouTube, Val. Yeah. And then you know, Kim Wilson um, texted her sister, "Die, you bitch! Fucking die! You're no good to anybody!" And oh, you know, die. And she actually took her life in a toilet. And um, you know, and Kim Wilson made a big sort of crying thing on a video but then like it was just for show so you've got two people we don't here. know sorry let's just put this on the record we don't know if if chrissy that's kim's sister we don't know if chrissy accidentally overdosed or intentionally overdosed the timing um, was but the fact is that kim wilson did goad her into killing herself and told <laughs> and told someone who had drug and alcohol issues and was very vulnerable to and you know, Kim's taking her child away as well. So a very vulnerable woman. Yeah. And yeah, definitely we will link, Val, we will yeah. link these. Yeah. Um, so, you know, messages. David is, is is going along with these two women that is just yeah. so interesting considering he is an advocate for, you know, bullying people to suicide. Yeah, he's a fake and a phony. 